What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to the War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off where we left off, we have been continuing to batter the French in North in South Africa South America. And we have finally reached the point where we will utterly destroy the final city. I mean they do have some troops down here holding the gold mine, but they will be dealt with in due course. But this will be the last French presence in the theatre, I think. We will truly be the master of our own destiny. So let's take him out. So we do have two armies then in South America. One, well one, I'm probably going to try and send to Ceylon to secure tea supplies. And then the other may act as a response force for Caribbean invasions from enemy powers. I think that would probably be the the smart thing to do. Okay, so. A howitzer can follow our infantry in. Two batteries of guns can mob walk up to this hill here. One unit can stay here and just provide artillery support. Start to group up our infantry to provide our assault companies or assault brigades cavalry drop some cavalry on each flank general in the center engage mm. they are rushing cavalry forward So I may rush. My own forward. Really should have got my artillery moving, but because they are so slow. Taking that as a successful successful target, however, they're about to be intercepted by our forces. And also how it says move up. No, actually my curiosity is you can wait. So they are content. To just sit back here. Let's get my artillery to attack this central company here, so any near misses will do lots of damage. Like that. Hey, there's a hidden unit here. Run my cavalry back just out of. Damn, that's a good. I did good there. Okay. Deploy my colonial lights into the mix. May as well deploy them to at least protect my. Protect my light cavalry. If we can make theirs route, at least mine won't be a total loss. Okay, we've started to push. Okay, well these two companies need to change their direction. If 
from the general. My artillery is in position, so I can bring my guns to bear. Okay, let's push these men up. Cavalry up as well. Let's rush up our line infantry. Enforcements. My other general. Nil desperandum. Let's charge our cavalry on. Take advantage of the. Take advantage of the chaos caused. Yeah, are doing a good job chopping through the infantry there. It's chaos over here. You ride them down. Just make sure they break, or well, they, they, they shatter, because I really don't like dealing with native bowmen. They are heavy cavalry, they're not the best at chasing down men. But they will certainly do. Okay, there you go, the militia. Julian! The infantry formed square. No, avoid the square, you damn fools. How oh, it's so engage the square. Storm militia position. There we go. Cavalry in to charge the rear of the militia. Some of these men can continue their bayonet charge. Let's 
line continuing to evade my artillery. Look at the 12th, the glorious 12th. Charging down in the face of enemy fire. Musketeers. There we go. The legacy of Julien Sayaz was to die gallantly in the fall of the last the last French action in the home territories. Fought gallantly. Like the 33rd Regiment of Foot that killed my general. Although I suspect that's it. Yeah. Send the battle there. <laughs> we lost my general. How much more damage do we need to take? There we go. Let's recruit a new general, Amadeu Mortier. Let's send some infantry out to go and knock out the last militia. You fellows can all attempt a well-earned break. Can't repair the basin, but I can get my ships into port. We cannot repair because they're all broken. And then that's the last French possession we have to deal with. And I'm, I fear... So why would the... Sp hmm. If the Spanish go for me, then Operation Kill the Cherokee will be cancelled. Because I will want to take Cuba, Santo Domingo, especially as they'll probably call in New Spain. So... This force would march to secure Santa Fe. This force will go south to secure Mexico. Finally, you guys are 100% Catholic. So you guys may as well march into Annapolis and just keep converting. Maybe this is all been done. Yep, yeah, unfortunately we did lose Julian. I can repair the mansion. They've only got cobbled roads. They haven't even got cobbled roads. Huh. Let's get spices up onto the international markets and let's hit in turn. Ah! I mean, this army is heavily depleted, but I suppose we better take them out. <laughs> At least give them that honour to uh, eliminate a faction in an actual battle rather than an auto resolve. That's not entirely unfair. But yeah, so the Spanish attack me, then. The gloves are off. Or we could, well, we could preemptively attack them and sink that fleet. And that would be an option, I think, if I hadn't already got a battle plan of my for my next enemy. If I didn't know I was already going to attack the Cherokee, that might be a good idea. So this army is pretty fresh and unbloodied. Fairly fresh and unbloodied. Strong cavalry component. Send the cavalry forward. They're probably all hiding back here somewhere. it's worth marching up my uh, 
infantry. Getting ready to spot a giant blob of Cherokee. Not Cherokee, Huron. So my bet would be about would be back here, but they could be anywhere. So why don't we want to run my ha? First catch of the day. Although they're probably all nearby. Artillery shots inbound. Charge on, 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 on. This is my light cavalry at the back. I've got my cuirassiers charging in against the melee infantry, which is where I probably want them to be. And then my colonial light. My cavalry will still get hammered on its own. Unless I can get a chain route. Yeah, my cavalry charging the bowmen on their own, understandably. I was unhappy about that. Just keep charging. I know you guys are probably thinking, why well, why the hell am I just throwing my cavalry at them? Um, because I'm, because I think it might be an interesting, fun thing to do. Although, to be honest, now is probably sound the recall. Although, done a pretty good job on their own. Fighting them in an infantry battle would have been... Fighting them in an infantry battle alone would have been a bit overkill, wouldn't it? <laughs> Especially if they've already been... All comers have been thrown back. She's bodyguards wavering. Yeah, they, they've broken off. Garrison native bowmen have... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, this is done. Get all my artillery to hit the bowmen and then just speed up time because they've taken exception to that. <laughs> so it's been very costly. For Hold on, I see you. You sneaky Pete.
you guys run to see this is the problem about using saying to do commands when they're in a group there we go then these men in a more conventional manner will throw back the warriors <laughs> so it's been very costly to my cavalry force but damn we took him out young man afraid of his horses afraid of my horses ha 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 Got to remember, got to cut the recording for Sweden. It wasn't too bad last time, but I don't know. Let's test it out. Won't even matter if the sweet if the Spanish declare on me. Ooh, okay. So let's really see if we can call. This is like a great war. My network of allies versus their allies. All of my allies have joined. So Spain. Well, okay, so Spain didn't dump their troops. That's actually really good for me, because obviously it means I can ambush their army. I can ambush their army at sea and sink them entirely, especially as I do have a fleet at uh, Goodisau. So I can, I can act on that very easily. One of those armies... In South America, we'll land and attack Caracas and secure a major population centre to the south. Yeah, so Operation Cherokee is down, is, is off for now. I want to commit. To be honest, I, will, I won't need to move um, the force in Philadelphia. Okay, first and foremost, up here. Do not fear me, native peoples. Let me get you back to port. Military technology carcass shots, which is lovely. Don't really want diamond formation. Still going down the naval tech route. Cadence marching might be useful. New model bayonet drill would be good to get some more uh, infantry unit types. Okay, so here is a major fleet. Obviously I do want to knock out this fella. A fourth and a galleon, but that'll be the job of these fifths. Oh, they did not oh they didn't get joined by New Spain. I didn't even know that was possible. bit frustrating it means we can't take advantage of our position here to knock out New Mexico and Spain so maybe Operation Attack Spain Attack the Cherokee isn't off no these two armies can stay where they are these armies down here are going to be more than enough to prosecute the offensive war against the colonies obviously once they've rebuilt their forces Philip Abouf is a very good general let's see you guys replenish let's repair your fleet upgrade the fur trapper post and let's build some roads okay let's take you fellows Oh, Fort, 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 Fortunato Cortes. Well, we're definitely going to actually fight it because I do want to make sure they're destroyed. I do not want them to escape. Okay, let's go as far north as we can. And then let's do something like this. So capturing the fourth rate would be nice, but well, to be honest, we all need to capture them both. But I don't really need either of them. I'm 
with my new port, new shipyard being built to the north. Oh, it's, the Amer it's America, the war galleon. With my second um, shipyard being built, I don't really have a lack of shipbuilding capacity. I mean, I've got one shipyard that can churn out top tier navies faster than I can actually utilise them. Especially as I now am the dominant power in the Americas. So, I mean, I'm still going to build the navies because powerful navies. Powerful navies are very handy. Their guns actually out do they actually outrange me? Because I don't want to move, because why should I? No, don't go round that way. Go round that way. Okay. Stop. Ah, oh, okay, there we go. My ships are opening up. So you can ungroup and you can ungroup and go like this. So doing a lot of damage to her sails. Obviously, you know I'd like to do more. She is a fourth-rate ship of the line. Can be a bit not improper, but just funky. You can get weird results, but they are. Well, this is it. They are trying to chase them down, I suppose, fundamentally. But that is what we need to do. Fire a broadside of round shot. She's been dismasted, so pivot you guys around to fire into the back of the fourth rate. Okay, this ship just firing chain shot. Because I do just want to... I mean, the more mass you knock down, the better. So this guy's going to suffer from being alone, or the... Yeah, this using the autonomous commands is just a bit odd. You guys can just wait where you are. You guys pivot. We're all Macedonian. Ships don't really need to do much more than Bob.
Come on, America. Come on, knock out another sail. Just turn that thing into a tub. they are actually now fleeing. The America's routing. Be want to make sure she doesn't route. A change shot into her. May you guys board America. Another mast gone. Load the right broadside. Damn right, we're going to continue. Surrender on fire, and then let's chase down. Although you're gonna, you are going to border. Being a fifth rate, you're fast enough. The ones they're in. There we go. Close victory, wasn't it? Close victory, and we've taken an entire stack of enemy prisoners. Uh, I don't want the war galleon. Good stuff. Orders, Tortoise and Force to add a bit of firepower. So a large army of fifths has arrived. Has arrived. Okay, straight on upgrading the dockyard. Jean Frederic Sercouf. Hey, isn't that the Sercouf? Isn't that the that battleship? submarine that the French built that disappeared. Okay, let's get it. It's not really the sort of thing I want my top tier fleet doing, but in lieu of any other serious enemies. Blockade their ships, or blockade their ports to make sure they can't move, or they can't do anything sneaky. You guys can't repair, because your port's not yet repaired. Although I could... Sail you to Demerara. I think it's not even Demerara. Demerara. You guys can refit here. Yeah, we've sorted that out. We've lost trade with Spain. Let's try and trade with someone else. Although there is no one else. <laughs> but yes, while these armies down here replenishing we will uh, equip them or then we will ready them and then we'll send them to attack Havana which would be very 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 lucrative and Santo Domingo so lots of ports a shipyard which we've upgraded a magistrate which we've upgraded Let's see villages are not growing I need you to grow Baton Rouge Although I probably could stop. <laughs> I need to stop recruiting armies here, I think. Yes, or do I have to do something like, you know, a la Rome 1? 87,000. To be honest, none of my territories have got a lot of, po lot of population. What? Yeah, I could do a bit of scouting with my QSCs en route. Killed them. New fleet. Yeah, you're starting to churn out fourth rates. 
So let's get this ship back into port. Because you're about to be joined with some ships. Awesome stuff. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Louisiana. Cheers, everyone.